Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Joanne. I have another thrift haul video for you. I know I've been kind of MIA lately and I do apologize for that. Uh, I had a birthday weekend which was fantastic and then last week for Memorial Day weekend through the very end of the week I went to visit family up in Pennsylvania. And if you like thrift haul videos and nostalgia make sure that you are subscribed to my channel because I'm going to have some upcoming videos where I kind of went thrifting in my childhood home. I brought back bins of things uh, that I'm going to be selling uh, locally in my antique space and direct to you if there's anything that you're interested in and some things I'm going to be keeping. But there's so many good things that I was able to bring back and I can't wait to share those with you. So make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss those. But anyway, this haul, I'm going back to the Durham Rescue Mission bins and just a couple of things that I picked up from Retails, which is really my favorite thrift store here in Raleigh. I'll show you the things I'm going to be keeping for myself and then everything else that I'm going to be selling. So let's go ahead and get started with this haul. I think I'll start first with a couple of things that I picked up at Retails because it really is only two things. Uh, for Violet, my dog, I found, now this is a mellow shirt. It's one of those shirts that's supposed to help to keep them calm during storms and such. I didn't get it for that purpose for her, but just uh, for just a, another little t-shirt. And let me see, they charged, actually I'm not sure what they charged for this. Uh, they either charged... $2.49 or $3.99. I don't see a, let's see if there's a sticker in it. Oh, here it is. $2.49 this was. <clears throat> and then I picked up this basket. I believe this is one of those, I think it's called a seagrass basket that they make down in South Carolina at the market. Um, this was $1.99. It is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful condition. So that takes care of everything from retails. And the remainder is from the Durham Rescue Mission outlet, or AKA the bins uh, by the pound store. They have lots of different names. <laughs> this I picked up to hold jewelry. I'm not sure if that was its intended purpose, or maybe it was for belts. I'm gonna see if my daughter wants to use this to organize um, her jewelry in her closet. If she does not, I'm going to use this up at my antique space because I'm planning on starting to sell uh, some jewelry up there. Things that I think are more kind of on the boho <laughs> sort of um, side of jewelry. So I'm not sure where that's going yet. This I did get for myself. This is a bottle loft, magnetic bottle hangers. So apparently you put this strip right here to the roof or the ceiling, I guess, of your refrigerator and then the bottles uh, clip on here with magnets and then it'll just free up some uh, space on the bottom. So we'll see if that works. Uh, just I've got a buffer, a nail buffer, brand new. Uh, let me see, this is nothing exciting. It's just a cami that I got for myself. And then I also found these are let me see if I can get one out there. It's like octopus. They're all tangled around each other. Just S hooks. They might be shower curtain hooks. I'm not sure, uh, but I'm thinking that I might be able to use these in some way, fashion, or form up in the antique space, maybe to hang things from the ceiling. So we'll see. This, I think, is an amazing piece. Oh, and don't forget watch through to the end of the video. I always forget to say this at the beginning. Watch through to the end of the video because I would love it if you would leave a comment and let everyone know what your favorite find was from today's haul and I will let you know at the end what mine was. So this, for those of you that may not know, I believe this intended purpose was to put over your food like outside on your picnic table or something to kind of keep the bugs away from it. There's some rather large holes in it, uh, but it would keep like the flies out and such. But, and not that I'm going to do this, but wouldn't this make an amazing hanging lamp shade? 
I think this would be incredible. This is a this is some kind of metal. I'm not sure if that's a bronze around there, but I think that would make an incredible lampshade. If I were more handy and had the time, that is exactly what I would do with this. Um, my daughter said it was just a great basket on, basket on its own, and she's right, but let's see. It wouldn't, no, it wouldn't sit straight. It kind of wobbles. You can't tell that, but it does kind of wobble. But I thought this was a really great piece. And then I just found this small, um, I'm not going to attempt to say name this, or, cigar box made in Holland, a wooden one. I thought it was just a great little box. Here's the label of it inside. And I think some people do collect cigar boxes. A very, very light wood this is. Then I picked up this picture, which will be go. I wish there were two, even three of them, but just one alone. I think she would make like an amazing centerpiece. And then you kind of kind of build around her with additional pictures or maybe baskets or something. But I thought that was a beautiful picture. Uh, this cutting board I picked up, what is this? Uh, Simply Bamboo, it says in the corner. So I'll just oil that off. I liked the shape of it. It just wasn't a plain old cutting board. That that was a great, I'm gonna have to get some food safe oil for this. But I thought that was a great piece. This I vacillated on, but you know, because it's the bins and luckily you don't pay a whole lot for things there. Um, I don't know how much people collect ashtrays, um, but I thought this was a great red vintage ashtray. Um, made in the USA, it says on the back, and then there's a number 341 um, Jess line. There you go. Sometimes that glare pays off, huh? But picked it up, who knows? Somebody might collect ashtrays. Um, these are some wonderful playing cards. Lady Baltimore, plastic coated. And they, I guess it's their like seashells and little gems and such. And I counted them up to make sure and there were 52 plus two jokers in each one of the set. Uh, let's see if there's any other markings. Made in USA, it says on the bottom. And these, I was happy to find two of these. I think these are beautiful napkin rings, all beaded butterflies. Now there's only, there are two of them, but still so pretty. I found one, I'm thinking, oh gosh, if I could only find more than one. And then lo and behold, I think it was even in another bin, I found a second one. And they're even beaded around the part that would hold your napkin. I thought those were really pretty. And this is a vintage plate holder that you would um, use on the wall. So, you know, there's the bottom two pieces. So you put your plate in there and then hook that on the top of your plate like that. And then that would hang on the wall. So that's an older one. And then these little tins, surprisingly enough to me, yay, these are selling up at the booth. Um, not for a whole lot, maybe I think six, eight dollars. I sell them in sets. And these are all little grape, clustered grapes. There are two, four, six of them. That one is just a little bit dinged up, but that should be easy enough to straighten out. So I'll uh, just clean those up and put them into a Ziploc bag and sell those as a set. This was cool. <laughs> this is not vintage or anything, but I just thought this was a really cool piece. It's, you can see it's a huge um, uh, clothespin. And I thought this would be great. Well, this you could use in your laundry room as a decor piece, uh, but this you could also use on a shelf and you could put a picture in there. You could change out the picture from time to time. Um, you could even, oh, it has a hole in it. So it looks like you could even hang it on the wall and hang things, whoops, there we go, from it. Oh, you know what you could do in the laundry room? You could put this on the wall and then hang an apron or something from the bottom of it. Clip an apron into the bottom of it. That would be cool. Um, just have to put a little Old English on this and it'll be beautiful. I did find some Tupperware because I love finding the vintage Tupperware. We have this piece here. I'm not sure what it was intended for. 
it does say Tupperware on the bottom. This has to be cleaned up. Ugh. Oh my goodness. The top is very tight. There we are. It has these little ridges on the bottom of it. So perhaps it was to store something. Okay, put that in the sink because that's going to have to be washed up. And then I found two of these. Oops, there we go. Wine bottle corks with the hearts on the top. These are not vintage, but I was happy to find two of them. I found some random dice, and you may remember if you've been watching me for a while that I'm just collecting these dice and then I put them into mason jars and just sell them that way. And I have sold a couple of them. I think I might still have the dice left, I'm not sure. But I found those. And then these bells, which I'm gonna take off of here. I've already started a jar with some large bells like this in it. So I'll sell those all together in a mason jar. And then I found these fantastic baskets, beautifully done with these darker wood handles. So we have that size there and then a larger one right here. Whoops. Oh, there it is. I knew I found a nail brush for myself and I couldn't find it. There it is now. These are gorgeous baskets, I think. So these will look really nice up in the um, antique space with some things in them. I'm not sure what yet, but something in them until they sell. Uh, let me see. Oh, let me show you this because it's kind of out of the way and I'm afraid I'm going to forget to show you him. Isn't he beautiful? Look at him. I think he's gorgeous, this cow. Um, he was originally from Kirkland's and cost $59.99. I absolutely love him. And some of the parts on, on it are a little bit like relieved so you can feel them, but I think he's adorable. <gasps> So we have him, oh, there we go. And then this piece was empty. There was nothing in it. It's a shoe shine box, but I really liked it because it had this little drawer, come on now, that's in the bottom of it. And then the latch lid has to be cleaned out a little bit to show you what was supposed to be in there. But I thought that would be a really cool piece. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to kind of stage this in the antique space yet, but I, I thought it was a cool looking piece. And I've not seen one of these shoe shine boxes with a drawer in it. Then I hit the toys. I'm not quite sure why, because I don't do much with toys at all. But I found a whole bunch of briar horses and they are scratched up a little bit, but I thought, you know, for people that maybe, I don't know, would collectors even be interested if they're a little bit scratched up? Maybe collectors won't, but I bet a little girl would be. So I found a whole, whole bunch of them. He looks like a young one. He just has a face looking like a young one. Boy, my, back in the day, I would have loved to have had these. I loved horses when I was a kid. Loved them, loved them. I mean, I still love them. They're such magnificent, strong animals. Oh, they're beautiful. So that's two, four, five briar horses. Then um, a My Little Pony. <laughs> Let's see if there's a date. So the tag is still on her. Um, oh, this is... Fluttershy, and what year is she from? Where are, where's your year here, little girl? She may have a year on her, but I cannot see it. So I found that My Little Pony, and then I found this one. Now she's got a little dirt, she just has to, needs, she needs some surface cleaning. Still has her tag on her, but she's an older one. Where, she was made in Korea, 1984, yep. So she's got a little bit of age on her. But I thought she was a sweetheart. And does she have a name? Let's see. My Little Pony, uh, Surface Wash. I don't see that she, 
Oh, she's a unicorn, moon dancer. Her name is Moon Dancer. And then I found these from Build-A-Bear. I didn't know Build-A-Bear had teeny weeny little ones like this. So these little guys, I just thought, and they're in beautiful condition. I thought I would just stick these in a bag um, up at the space and just sell them as a lot. Look at how cute they are. And sell them as a lot. So that, my friends, that's everything. Okay, what is my favorite from everything that I showed you? <laughs> What's under there? Okay, you know what? I think it's going to be this set of baskets. I think they're gorgeous. Yep, that's my favorite. This set of these two baskets is my favorite. So don't forget in the comment section down below, those down, make sure to let everybody know what your favorite find was uh, from today's video. And if you did enjoy it, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to uh, make sure that you do not miss any of the, I don't know, I'm gonna call it maybe thrift my childhood home videos that I'm gonna be coming have coming up for you. I brought back, let me think, three bins, like three totes, and then two huge, huge cardboard boxes full of stuff. So there's gotta be a whole bunch of videos coming with all of those goodies. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, thank you so much for sharing your favorite find with everyone. And until my next video, everyone, please take very, very good care of yourselves and bye for now.